All right, so first and foremost, I want to say thank you to everyone who uh, liked, commented, and uh, shared the last video, and subscribed as well. Welcome to all the new subscribers. I appreciate y'all uh, hitting that subscribe button. And today, uh, as you probably could tell by the title, it's been a long day, first off, second off. I finally have my actual snap-on box, which you are currently sitting on, but I will show you, obviously. It only, I feel like it only took me to make that video just for snap-on to uh, realize someone from snap-on had to watch the last video. They're like, we got to get this guy, his actual box, pronto. And lo and behold, I mean, not even a week later, it showed up. So without further ado, I'm going to give you a redone tour i have reorganized some drawers uh, considering that this is a nine drawer and the other box that i was using was a 10 drawer um, so nonetheless i reorganized some of these drawers show you how i reorganize it show you this box in particular and what the difference is all right so here it is the snap-on nine drawer man you can just tell it looks brand new just from being able to see me here hello uh, but this is the snap-on nine drawer with a power bank it's a 55 inch i believe uh, same as the other one it's just the other one as you remember if you had watched the last video you know that it was a uh, 10 drawer so this is the one that i actually purchased uh, because i did want the power bank i currently do have this box sitting on some risers these are three inch risers uh, if not a little bit more than three inches um, and it actually made a huge difference. Like if I kind of step back a little bit, it definitely brought it up quite a bit more to where one, it's easier to access this lower drawer, easier on the back. Uh, this lower drawer, by the way, has stayed the same, obviously, you could probably tell. There are still quite a few drawers that uh, have, well, actually that's not true majority of these drawers officially have something in them i think maybe one or two uh there's nothing in them but we'll get to that uh just to show how much of a difference the risers make set you down here kind of pull you off right probably right there so i shot the last video i shot you may have been able to see uh the height of the box and where it was then uh, but now that I officially have my actual box, I decided to purchase some risers because I hated having to bend all the way down and grab whatever I needed from a lower drawer to whereas now it's a little bit easier on me. And it's nice because my whole, you know, working surface right here is uh, just a lot more friendly with my height. Um, it just feels more comfortable. Uh, with whatever it is I may be doing up here uh, on the on the top of the box so um, very nice that uh, I'm glad that I decided to go with the risers it did make a big difference in my opinion and uh, I'm excited to continue to use this box originally I was planning on actually uh, listing this box uh, straight up for sale as soon as I got it but after doing some uh, Facebook marketplace research and uh, and uh, what, what is it eBay research and just seeing you know what other toolboxes are out there for sale I've been seeing a lot of snap-on boxes that are uh, either one similar to mine or two uh, way better but priced uh, um, very aggressively where it's like kind of a deal you can't I guess aggressive isn't the word it's priced where you, it's a pretty fair deal for what it is um, this box brand new as of right now goes for seven thousand dollars and my intentions was to list it up for sale starting at fifty five hundred and work my way down no less than five thousand um, but i do really i do really enjoy this box um, i am happy with it uh, i do love the power drawer we're going to show you that here in a second um, so yeah, let's uh, get through the drawers and show you what we got going on here. So starting off at the top, the top two drawers stay the same. 
Uh, you've got your big drawer way up here up top. And as I open it here, you can see I did some reorganization. So I got the vice grips, Snap-on vice grips. A lot of y'all commented saying that uh, <laughs> the vice grips from Snap-on sucks. To be honest with you, I haven't had any problems with them yet. So it's it's hard for me to say that they, that they suck. Um, they've done the job for me. Uh, every time I've used them so you know I'm, I'm content with them I'm happy with them I'm sure there's better vice grips out there but uh, for the uses I've been putting them through they've been doing the job just fine so no complaints there uh, off to the side here we got the half inch and the 3 8 uh, torque wrenches uh, digital torque wrenches that is uh, if you didn't see them from last video and you're here now and you're wanting to see what these uh, bad boys look like Snap on digital torque wrench. This is the 3 8 the half inch, obviously, and the longer one. But these things are awesome. I absolutely love them. I've been putting them both to use every single day, and they have made my life much easier. Let's just put it that way. And then we have the uh, Lexavon quarter inch uh, torque wrench. This one is not digital. I didn't want to ball out on a quarter inch torque wrench just because I knew that I would only be using them majority of the time for airbag replacements or airbag inflators so right here we got a oil filter uh, this is going to be for the spool I'm actually I, I, I I'm not sure if I'm gonna do an oil change today we'll see how I feel after doing this video but uh, moving over we have obviously our bolt and ex nut, bolt nut and screw extractor set from Thinkwork. Um, I'm gonna say it right now. I don't know if I said it. I probably did, but I'll say it again in this video. Um, the screw extractors that come with this set, in my personal opinion, suck. The bolt extractors, on the other hand, I haven't really had to use them, to be honest with you. So, I mean, that's a good thing, but um, I would like to get to use them so I could at least say that the, the bolt or nut extractors are solid I'm sure they are um, it's kind of hard to mess those up so the ratchets and the breaker bar officially have kind of their own spot uh, in this corner going from longest to uh, shortest so we got the long breaker bar the half inch ratchet which is basically a breaker bar uh, the 3 8 long flex head ratchet and the 3 8 uh, 180 degree swivel ratchet and then the 180 degrees quarter inch ratchet um, all in one place so I think it looks a lot better this way uh, we have the snap-on tap and die set love this thing it has uh, saved me and other technicians lives um, that's for sure but just a nice look here close that up you know it's funny I look at these every time and it's like I have yet to like truly get to use these I did one fuel tank job and I was like, I didn't have these and I was like, man, I really wish I had a set of these exhaust hanger pliers. Now that I have them, I never use them. So, gotta love it. The second drawer, second long drawer here. Uh, the wrenches have stayed in the same place. We relocated the uh, caliper tool here. Let's see, I received the wrong side mirror for this vehicle that I'm doing a side mirror recall on. So now I have to wait until Monday to get the right one because we're obviously closed. Uh, you know, I like to hang on to my boxes. So trying to make do with uh, what space I have for those boxes and uh, new pickup. Got myself a measuring tape. This one is uh, pretty nice because it uh, auto locks as you pull it out and then just press the button to feed it back in. Super nice. The snap on auto loading uh, utility knife. These blades from snap on are uh, some of the best blades I've ever used. Very, very nice. Uh, and then another recent pickup, if you watch, uh, I believe it was my last video uh, that I did on is this purchase or is this tool worth it? that was of this pry bar set right here. Now, I will say since making that video and since having these in uh, the box, 
I maybe only used it once, and that was the largest one here, which is the, oh man, 24 inch, I think it is. I can't remember, but eventually these will get put to use. I did buy it as a, a future proofing myself type deal, so that's this drawer. We'll save the best for last, so we'll go down here. So in this long drawer, we have um, the valve lash adjustment tools that you need to do valve lash adjustments. We have the spark plug gapper, super nice, love this thing. Uh, and then a couple new pickups from Icon. We got the flush cut pliers. Uh, I've yet to use these, but I am very excited to use them in the event of ever having to use zip ties. I can finally have that uh, relief that you know uh, you're not gonna scrape yourself up uh, if you're ever trying to attack that zip tie. Um, and then another new pickup that we have here is a three-way adjustable plier from Icon as well. You can tell like they greased that up pretty nicely. Uh, I've yet to use these to be honest with you, but these two purchases were kind of like just another future proof yourself type deal. So, and then these were originally in the US general box, but now they have relocated relocated over here because I wanna build up my Icon plier collection um, in this drawer. So as time continues, as I continue to uh, be able to save more money for more Icon tools, uh, because I do love them, I do think they are the best bang for buck. Um, and I mean, you cannot beat lifetime warranty. If any of these breaks uh, or any of these Icon tools break on you, you literally take it to Harbor Freight for me. It's not even a mile away from where I work. I can run it down there, exchange it for free. No questions asked. Absolutely love that. Next drawer, this is an empty drawer. Uh, we got the owner's manual for this drawer that uh, it came in. Just haven't figured out what I'm gonna do with that drawer yet, so. And then down below, flash drive for updates. Uh, we have this long uh, claw grab. Oh, geez, smack the camera. We got this long claw grabber. You ever drop a uh, bolt and it's in a hard to reach spot, this thing will save your life. And then we have the hammers. My hammer collection's kinda, yeah. I don't wanna talk about it too much, but nonetheless, my hammer collection as of right now, the three pound Stanley Anti-Vibe uh, Fat Max, this thing is great when you just got to go to town on something. And then we have the 8-ounce ball peen uh, anti-vibe from Proto. So two different brands, same, literally the same thing. Um, just 8-ounce ball peen, 3-pound Fat Max. And then I don't know if I showed, I don't know, this may have been in the other tool haul, but uh, this is the 16-ounce Dead Blow from Icon. Um, I do want to get more Icon hammers, considering the fact that obviously there is a lifetime warranty with them and Harbor Freight's less than a mile from where I work. So it just kind of makes sense. And they make good tools. I have used the 16 ounce ball peen, uh, sorry, uh, dead blow hammer, and it has treated me well so far. So it's nice. All of the power tools have officially made their way into one drawer. Uh, the Milwaukee will stay in here. Eventually the Milwaukee we will say goodbye to and upgrade to a half inch impact from Snap-on uh, just because I absolutely love those impacts and I just can't afford one right now. Um, but nonetheless, the long neck electric ratchet has made its way in. The 3 8 impact has made its way in. And obviously from last time, this was, was, this was the same location where uh, the drill was. So, and then you've got the uh, blue point 52 piece bit set, awesome set to have. And then I already showed you this bottom drawer, but one more time, just for good looks. Capri Tools, Master Torque Set, Master Hex Set, uh, Pittsburgh Pro, Click Type Torque Wrench, I never use it, don't need it. A tire uh, plug kit, we got brake caliper hooks, and then it's upside down, I know, but the pneumatic brake caliper wind back tool this thing is 
uh, you know, it's one of those things you spend a lot of money on, and it's like, fuck, man, did I really need to do that? But yeah, honestly, you did because it's it's just super nice to have. Um, saving the best for last, so we're gonna go at the bottom here. Kind of had to reorganize this drawer. Y'all know uh, the bottom drawer here was a big junk drawer, kind of, and then we had the um, the axle nut socket set from Aries, 12 point, super nice. But now we just kind of have a little bit of junk underneath here and uh, a nice clean rag to, uh, you know, always have. You gotta always have that one nice clean rag if you ever just run out and there's no more left, you got that one rag just on standby. And then saving the best for last, the reason why I bought this toolbox was because of the power drawer. Now. Look at that. I tried to uh, set this up as nice as possible. So we got the dual charger right here, and then we got the solo chargers uh, for the smaller batteries in the corner over here. And then battery layout, I just try to make it work. Um, it has been working so far. Um, but just to get a closer up on that, I, I'm in love with this thing. This is the whole reason why I wanted this box right here is just so that I could store all of my chargers and batteries in a drawer. And if I have to, you know, charge my batteries and leave overnight and come back in the morning, I know that they're safe and locked up in here instead of leaving it up top to where, you know, someone, not saying that the people that I work with is going to steal my shit, but you never know, you know, I just, I like having that sense of safety. So. And then I, I want to say I noticed the top here, this, uh, this new mat, um, this is different than the other mat that I had uh, on the Tenjor. So I don't know if y'all can tell on camera, but I kind of like this one more. Um, it just, it, it looks better in my opinion. The other one looked kind of weird to me. Uh, and this one just, it looks better. It's, it's a small thing, I know, but I like it. Eventually, the goal, I do want to, honestly, I do want to keep this box. So I probably won't sell it. Um, this is a great box. It, I literally got the best bang for buck possible. Um, so eventually, I want to get a doghouse uh, power top. So it'll have a power outlet there and a power outlet there on both sides. And then we're going to... I want to go, mm, I don't know, I don't know. Should I go, for those of you that own toolboxes, uh, if you have this set up, should I go bed liner uh, top with the power, with the power banks, um, or should I go stainless steel? Because um, I've got other technicians that do have both. One has the bed, bed liner top, and then the other tech has the stainless steel. They're both really nice. But I think, in my personal opinion, the bed liner top will look better on this box just because it's gray and black. Um, and then the stainless steel is just gonna really stand out to where the bed liner would kind of fit in with the rest of the box, so. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, not much else to it. It's pretty much stayed the same. A couple new, a couple new tools that have been added to the collection since. Um, it is a slow and uh, ongoing addiction that must be fed. And nonetheless, I mean, that's, that's, that's pretty much it. Everything else has stayed the same. So I appreciate you guys very much for tuning into this video. If you made it all the way through, I know this one's a lot shorter, so I hope you made it all the way through. Please do not leave without leaving a like. Feel free to comment your thoughts, opinions. Uh, definitely let me know on the top if any of y'all do have the stainless steel top or the bed liner top. What's your personal preference? What's the go-to? You let me know in the comments down below. And uh, I can't say it enough. The subscribe button is free. So please don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you do enjoy this type of content. I do enjoy making this type of content. I actually am considering potentially making a video on how to do your old change, D well, I guess DIY, whatever. But how to do your old change, obviously I have a lift, so most people don't have a lift, but just imagine, uh, or just substitute the lift for jacks. You get what I'm saying, but that's for another video. Thanks again for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. All of it's free. All of it helps me 
uh, boost the uh, mentality for me to continue to make these videos. So thanks again. I really appreciate the support. Hope you all have a great rest of your morning, day, evening, night, whatever time it is you're watching this, and I will catch you on the next one. Peace.